Hello class, today I will be discussing Ethiopia. My name is Matthew Reed and I chose this country over um, some personal beliefs and personal experiences that I had at church. Uh, a family a couple years ago adopted an Ethiopian boy. Um, he, I think, has been living a very beneficial life in America compared to Ethiopia since they're a third world country and sometimes they struggle out there. In uh, Ethiopia, there are about 80 different ethnic groups and about just as many same languages as them. It's a very diverse um, country and they are very culturally challenged over the years. They're a bit slow growing, but they're getting there within the years. About 70% of their GDP is based off of agriculture and that's been decreasing over the years. They have been getting more and more into factory and modern day jobs. There's about four different social groups, depending on where you were born at birth, your lineage and who you, what family you were born into, that's pretty much at what you'll be your entire life. Um, if a man participates in domestic jobs or like raising children, he's kind of considered an outcast of the family, which brings me to the next slide of gender equality. It's very different than it is here in uh, the United States. Girls are more of the have no kind of, not rights, but have less rights than men. They are told to stay at home more, told they can't go outside, they have to cover up. They, they uh, take care of all of the children. Usually, very few cases, men are taking care of children because they have to provide for their family. They are more of a financial income for the family. Boys, they really go to school. Girls, they really don't when they're children because they are taught more at the home, cleaning, cooking, more of those roles back when America was forever ago. I mean, um, imports based off of uh, what we've read off of the sources we have that the United States imports from Ethiopia, coffee, oil seeds, textiles and garments, and uh, Ethiopia imports from the United States, wheat, machinery, low value shipments, and repaired products and vegetables. This is a very big part of the communication that we have between Ethiopia because we benefit from theirs and they benefit from us. We, uh, it's, it's a common market for the Eastern and Southern Africa as an Ethiopian member to have products from both countries. These are my works that we found. First one would have been um, the culture of Ethiopia. And that pretty much just goes over uh, how they live and how they get to a day-to-day -day basis. And then we have another culture of Ethiopia, the customs and etiquette. That's just general knowledge you need to know. And then we have the third source, which is just nations online. So just a general overview of Ethiopia in general. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.